Hey Finance Homefront viewers, thanks for tuning in today. Before we dive into our topic, I want to remind you to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more insights on financial trends and market analysis. Also, remember that I'm here to share information and perspectives, not to offer financial advice. Now, let's explore the intriguing question. Could China dominate the cryptocurrency market again? We'll delve into former President Trump's recent comments, China's evolving stance on crypto, and the broader geopolitical implications. Stay with us as we unpack this fascinating topic. Could China overtake the cryptocurrency market? An in-depth analysis. Recently, former President Donald Trump has turned his attention towards the world of cryptocurrencies. Aspiring to be known as the crypto president, he has brought digital assets into the geopolitical arena. When questioned on July 16th about his sudden interest in the crypto community, Trump told Bloomberg, if we don't do it, China is going to pick it up and China is going to have it or somebody else, but most likely China. In this interview, Trump elaborated on how his involvement with his mugshot NFT collection opened his eyes to the potential of cryptocurrencies, revealing that 80% of the money was paid in crypto. It was incredible. He continued, so we have a good foundation. It's a baby. It's an infant right now, but I don't want to be responsible for allowing another country to take over this sphere. Trump's comments have sparked a debate about several intriguing issues, particularly about China, which banned crypto trading and Bitcoin mining in 2021. Is China genuinely interested in re-entering the crypto trading and mining markets? More broadly, what is the relationship between governments and the decentralized, diversified digital assets such as Bitcoin and Ether? Can any single nation exert control over these assets? Let's delve into these questions. China's historical role in the crypto market. China once held a dominant position in the cryptocurrency landscape. Major crypto exchanges, like Binance, were headquartered in China, and approximately 75% of Bitcoin mining occurred on Chinese soil. However, in 2021, China enacted a sweeping crackdown on crypto trading and mining leading to the near disappearance of Bitcoin mining by mid-year. Recent developments, however, suggest a potential shift in China's stance. According to Chainalysis, by October 2023, there were signs that the Chinese government might be reconsidering its position on cryptocurrencies, using Hong Kong as a potential testing ground. This speculation was further fueled by the central government's approval of several Bitcoin exchange-traded funds ETFs in Hong Kong in April 2024. Some experts believe that China aims to transform Hong Kong into a cryptocurrency hub, even while maintaining a trading ban on the mainland. Was China's crypto ban a strategic mistake? The question arises, does China regret its decision to exit the crypto market in 2021? Daniel Lacalle, the chief economist at Tresi, certainly thinks so. Speaking to Cointelegraph, Lacalle remarked, China made an enormous mistake banning crypto trading and mining, particularly when they want to de-dollarize at some point. The decision did not help the Yuan and eliminated an important disruptive technology development. Emiliano Pagnota, an associate professor of finance at Singapore Management University, echoed this sentiment, describing the 2021 mining crackdown as a strategic blunder. Pagnota explained, they accounted for 75% of the mining industry and in a short period lost a considerable percentage to the United States, chiefly. He emphasized that controlling the majority of the hash rate provided significant leverage against the security properties of the Bitcoin network, a latent threat more potent than the ban itself. However, not everyone agrees. Yi Kai Wang, an assistant professor in the economics department at the University of Essex, argues that China's strict control over capital outflows necessitated the ban on crypto trading. I don't think that China regrets banning crypto trading and mining in 2021 because the capital markets in China and Hong Kong are different, Wang explained. He pointed out that Hong Kong, although under Chinese control, operates with open market policies and free capital flow 
making it a more suitable environment for cryptocurrency activities. Patrick Pan, the chairman and CEO of OSL, a crypto exchange operating in Hong Kong, noted the substantial growth of the digital asset ETF market since its launch in April 2024. Pan observed that mainland China still maintains a stringent stance against cryptocurrency trading and speculation, but recognizes the long-term benefits of blockchain technology. China's evolving stance on cryptocurrency. The opaque nature of Chinese government decision-making makes it difficult to ascertain whether China regrets its 2021 crypto ban. However, it is evident that the country is reassessing its approach to digital assets. Zenon Capron, founder and director of consulting firm Capronasia, suggested that the softening stance in Hong Kong might be a strategic move to remain competitive in the fintech and digital finance space without fully reversing its mainland policy. Despite the challenges, China still holds significant advantages, such as access to cheap hardware and electricity in certain regions, which could facilitate a resurgence in Bitcoin mining if the government provided incentives or loosened restrictions. However, the global mining landscape has diversified, making it more challenging for any single country to dominate. Wang believes that China could still succeed in Bitcoin mining if it were allowed, given its capacity and comparative advantage in mass production. However, he is skeptical about a change in China's trading ban on the mainland without an overhaul of its capital markets policy. Lakal is doubtful that confidence can be regained among traders and miners once they perceive risks of interventionism and legal or investor insecurity. Nonetheless, Panyota pointed out that China remains a critical player in the crypto sector due to its significant role in the development and manufacturing of ASIC equipment. Can China regain its crypto dominance? While many local governments in China have benefited from the tax revenues, smooth energy demand, and job creation associated with Bitcoin mining, it remains uncertain if Beijing would support a return to legalized BTC mining. Pagnota remains skeptical about China embracing self-custody for its citizens, but suggested that China could ease investor exposure to Bitcoin-related products through ETFs, as seen with the Biden administration in the United States. Julio Moreno, head of research at CryptoQuant, noted that while China made mistakes by banning crypto investments and Bitcoin mining, it appears more open to the industry now, evidenced by the launch of Bitcoin and ETH ETFs in Hong Kong. Moreover, despite the ban, Chinese mining pools still hold nearly 54% market share, indicating that some mining activities might be continuing covertly. China's central government also retains significant Bitcoin holdings, amounting to 190,000 BTC, or about 1% of the total Bitcoin in existence. This substantial holding suggests that China still has a vested interest in the cryptocurrency market. Trump's remarks raise the question of whether cryptocurrencies are becoming a new arena for geopolitical competition. Pagnotta believes that Trump's statements reflect a strategic concern, especially given the potential threat of a Chinese or BRICS-led central bank digital currency, CBDC. By supporting Bitcoin, Trump might be leveraging the ancient strategy of the enemy of my enemy is my friend. However, some experts argue that the idea of China regaining dominance in the global crypto market is unrealistic. The decentralized and diversified nature of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether makes it difficult for any single sovereign state to exert control. Capron highlighted that while China's influence in the crypto market might grow, particularly through initiatives like the digital yuan, achieving dominance over decentralized cryptocurrencies is a different challenge altogether. The decentralized nature of these digital assets serves as a significant barrier to any single nation's dominance. Lacal concurred, stating, there is no such thing as nationalist crypto. The beauty of the crypto market is that it is completely diversified and decentralized. The concept of government control of crypto makes no sense to anyone that understands independent currencies. In conclusion, the debate about whether China could take over the crypto market is multifaceted and complex. 
while China's past dominance in the crypto space and its current reassessment of its policies indicate a potential interest in regaining a foothold, the decentralized and diversified nature of cryptocurrencies presents significant barriers to any single nation's control. Trump's remarks, while politically astute, highlight a broader strategic concern about the role of digital assets in the global financial landscape. As the crypto market continues to evolve, the interplay between national policies and decentralized technologies will remain a critical area of interest and debate. And that wraps up our deep dive into the question of whether China could dominate the cryptocurrency market once again. We've explored the historical context, the strategic missteps, and the potential for future influence. What do you think? Is Trump right to be concerned about China's role in crypto, or is the decentralized nature of digital assets too powerful for any single nation to control? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Finance Homefront for more in-depth discussions on financial trends and market analysis. And remember, the information shared here is for informational purposes only and not financial advice. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.